Max Lee, revolutionary war reenactor, marijuana dealer, Baja Fresh Rewards card king. But what else? What lies beneath the Minuteman guise and cloud of skunk smoke? Let's investigate on today's Unsolved Babe Stories. Shots, shots, shots. With such a renaissance man in our midst, we staggered under the amount of sheer wisdom suddenly at our FTs. Fingertips. So we called Spike, our former brother and current Zoom contact, to see what he thought we should do. I'm, I'm not using Zoom. This is Skype. <gasps> Spike on Skype. Stop singing. Stop it. When you called me to ask about Max Lee, I said it would be beneficial for you to learn a little about history to gain some perspective on the human experience that doesn't have anything to do with boat shoes or keg stands. So that's what we did. Here, watch us learn about some history with Max Lee. Max, you seem to know a lot about colonial history, which yeah. I think personally, personally, is tight as hell. <laughs> hell yeah. Tight. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, you know, from Yorktown to Concord, everything in between, I'm your guy. My embrace of the cannabistic arts enhances my knowledge. Whoa. We were actually thinking of opening up a dispensary in the town, so. What? Yeah, we're thinking about calling it Brahms Babes Buds. Oh, <laughs> dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what you want to do, you want to pick up Rancho Cucamongo, okay? It's a sweet bud, blossoms in spring, like kind of like a, a, a lily pad on a koi pond. And then you want a heavy stash of heavy stash. That's coming in hot from a cold little town in Milwaukee called Marrakesh. This is so great, great stuff. I want to write it down. I'm gonna go grab my moleskin notebook. Nice, yeah. Guys, guys, focus. We agreed we wanted to learn a little more about her story because those who don't learn from it are doomed to repeat it, brah. Yeah. For sure. Max, we just need to know if we're like floating along in the same time loop obliviously, you know? Oh, what did you think of the trousers history play? You know, honestly, it was um, it's kind of bad, but Appreciate the effort. Also, like, no mention of Major Andre. Dude was hung a British spy from, like, right there in the church, and no one mentions it. What? They don't teach that shit in schools, man. What is going on in this country? Wake up, America! Oh, no, structurally, like, I would have started with the woman in white, not old No Dome, because one time we were over at Raven Rock, and me and my uh, triplet friends, Timmy and Edgar, we got really high. We wanted to watch the notebook on my iPhone 4, and then, boom, we saw her. Blonde hair, white dress, terrifying, and I know it was her because we haven't even spoken up the dupster yet, and I was really sober, and I still think about it. Uh, I totally forgot I lost my Moleskine notebook. So what did I miss? <laughs> okay, upon rewatching this, I can see where we went wrong. It seems that whenever our desire to improve ourselves meets our inherent obtusity, the latter continually comes out on top. Huh. Oh. Perhaps you could look into Max's woman in white story. It might make for a more dynamic episode of television. Oh, I forgot I got my dig equipment in my car. Cal, can you go get my keys? Yes, check this out. Tripp majored in archeology. span He was first in his class at Cornell. He'd be in a dig right now in Turkey if it wasn't for his PTSD from that shark attack. Shark attack? Your keys, bro. Shark! Oh, it's fine, we're fine. We just... We just need a minute, okay? It's okay. He had teeth behind it's, his teeth. It's fine. He Please had stop. teeth Cut behind it. his teeth. was too cold to investigate, but luckily we knew someone who had a little experience in those woods. Spike, care to illuminate us? I told you, I am never talking about that night. It was the night that everything changed for me. It was the night that I snapped. So no, I don't care to illuminate you. I don't 
care about anything, really. Mmm, Grimsy's other brother. But tell me, what significance did the night you spent in those woods play in dropping the three of us like a pair of tight chubbies on a skinny dipping trip? Oh my god! I am not your other brother! I'm not your other anything! You guys still don't get it. You haven't changed at all. You, Even this lame excuse for an apology tour is just an exercise in narcissism. I don't know what my therapist was thinking. I, I am out of here. My bro Migos, sometimes the truth hurts more than a constrictive hemp necklace on a sunburn. Perhaps it's time for a little self-reflection. Who are we? Where have we been? And where are we going? <laughs> on one hand, our outreach to Spike comes from a real place of wanting to make amends for our past transgressions. But on the other hand, who does that ultimately benefit? And who might it hurt? And have we babes considered this from the perspective of someone who isn't we babes? God, a tuna sandwich would be so tight right now. Mmm, hella tight. Sando three-way? What is happening here? <laughs> <laughs>